Discord. All right, it's recording. Hey everyone, uh, back for another episode of Day Archstadio's vlog. I'm Henry Thurlow and I'm Stephen Murphy. Dante Carver. All right, awesome. so good to see you. we got Stephen Murphy and Dante Carver here, special guests on, on this week's episode. So uh, for anyone who doesn't know, this is a kind of vlog series that uh, Day Archstadio uh, does, uh, anime studio here in Japan. Um, I'm the director there. Uh, the CEO, Arthel Isom, is normally the, the person I do this with, but for the last few weeks, he's been super, super busy. Um, so we got a CG director here. <laughs> we got CG director here, Stephen Murphy, and then Dante oh. Carver, super ultimate famous celebrity in Japan, who also helps us and works with us because yeah. we're, we're friends with him and, and long friends with Arthel, the CEO. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so, you know, occasionally doing some voice work for day art, design work, um, and concepts, but for the most part, all around just good team. So, all right. So, today's topic is going to be timely. So, it, you guys don't even know the full context of this. So, let me explain what happened. See how, what, what had happened was, all right. Uh, Anime News Network did another article about an animator. <laughs> uh complaining about industry conditions out here now for anyone that knows me at all they know that's how i even became known to anyone like i had no twitter followers i had like 10 twitter followers that are, and then uh years ago i did an interview with buzzfeed and i came out and i spoke about how the conditions out here in japan are really rough and people need to know that right now the main reason i did it i was thinking at the time wasn't to try to collapse the industry or anything like that, but for people to know, you know what I mean? Like it, it, there's a lot of animators around the world that like want to come out here. Uh, oh, I want to work in anime. And I, and I, I really wanted people to know, like, you know, the, the money's really harsh, it, it, not enough to even support a visa realistically in most cases. Not Although it's changing. Just, they're not disillusioned basically. Yes, and it is changing now, which is good. It is a good thing that it's changing, um, but there's still tons of issues. But in any case, so uh, I, I feel like I'm someone that always defends the animators. Uh, I want truth also to be out there. So I want people to, you know, say uh, exactly the realities of the situation, both good and bad. Um, and, you know, who's at fault and who's not at fault. Obviously, it's hard, uh, you, you know, workers can't realistically bash their bosses and things like that and give totally uh, complete and utter inside information. But to the extent that you can, I think that, um, you know, the truth getting out is a good thing. Um, and whenever I see stories uh, about, you know, animators not being paid properly or completely and utterly disrespected, their work torn up and, you know, them just being completely demeaned, uh, things like that, you know, you gotta, you gotta stand against that. I also don't practice that at all. Uh, and we don't at all at Day Art. Steven, I hope you <laughs> feel that way. Like in comparison to anime studios out here that can be really, really crazy rough. Um, no, I think we, you know, I think we keep people's physical and mental health in mind to the extent we can. It's still a very hard job, you know, but I think that's what it's all about. Now, anyone that knows me knows that, but guess what, everyone? I think everyone knows where this is probably going, even if they're not familiar with it. I, the, the, the finger of the internet pointed at me and said, Henry, you're a bad person. It wasn't a giant explosion. Uh, it wasn't like a big, huge thing, realistically. I mean, I think even I my comments, I think even my comments got more likes and like, you know, like than, than everyone else is who's bashing me. But um, basically what happened was I made a post about this recent article saying that uh, usually I totally agree with any critique of this industry because there's so much to critique about the industry. But sometimes I think... Uh, you know, not all critiques are created equal. And um, I think that uh, sometimes you just have to watch out for uh, animators maybe coming out and just saying this job is really hard. This time I kind of felt like the complaint was, oh my God, it's like working at a factory. Uh, you don't always get to work on what you want. I have to just correct tons of things. Uh, I have no doubt that this animator is totally, their experience is totally legit. You know what I mean? And and I feel for them and that totally sucks. And I, I understand their feeling because you know you come into an industry like this and you expect it to be all of what your dreams are. And then sometimes it's not. 
And so their experience is 100% valid. But I said, uh, like, you know, um, sometimes I think the critique isn't, hey, we're not being paid and the projects aren't being funded. The critique is more along the line of this job is super hard. And when that happens, I don't totally agree. Basically, I said that. I think I even said it lighter than that in my original Twitter post. I should probably just read it, quote it. But in any case, that's what I posted. And I was honestly expecting like a dozen people to maybe comment and just be like, oh, I don't know, I think the comment is valid, or, uh, oh, I see what you mean, Henry, you know, like blowing up some comments out of proportion kind of, you know, dims down the overall critiques of, of right. more important right. things, <laughs> and that would be it. But I log in, like, you know, a couple hours later to Twitter, and oh boy, 20 plus comments and all that stuff, and uh, a bunch of people shared it, um, now, look, if, if people disagree with me, I'm totally down with that. Henry, I disagree with you, and here's why. And I'm going to even word it harshly with some curse words. Totally cool. I got thick skin. Ain't no thing. It's good. No complaints. Let me have it. Let me have it, right? You got you got critique against me? I'm all hmm. for it. Let me know. But there were shares where, like, the person would share it and be like, look at this corporate ha hack mother. Uh, I'm not even like, I guess we can curse in this vlog, but I'm, I'm going to try to not go crazy here. But like, or, or just give it abbreviations NF. To, yeah, yeah, uh, no, MF or, like it, it was just uh, look at this corporate hack. Oh, this boot liquor of, of big business. And anyone that you guys are laughing, or like Steven's got a big smile because he knows I'm the one always ranting about like progressive politics. No, that's not why so I was this, smiling. So, so this is what they were saying about your comment. They no, were that's saying the other fact person. that I uh, stuck up for a corporation and I thought this critique was a little bit, I mean, I didn't even go that far as to really stick up for the corporation. But what I said was, I think the corporations don't get funded by the, uh, by the uh, production committees enough. And so it puts even the studios in a hard position in, 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 my, in my subsequent like, wow. comments, I mentioned well, that. And, and said, because, uh, how dare you defend at all any corporation? You are supposed to immediately say, yes, this artist's complaint is 100% right. And the fact that I even questioned it slightly makes me a whore for big business, a corporate hack, a disgusting shill. You're a shame. I saw tons of posts saying, I've lost all respect for you. You absolutely disgust me. I can't believe I thought that, right? All of this craziness. And now, again, I'm blowing it out of proportion a little bit. It's not like I lost a thousand followers or anything crazy. I lost like 10 followers. But like, but still, like the amount of these is crazy. And it just gets me, you know, it, I'm not making this video as a defense. I just want to tell the story and then kick it over to you guys for some opinions, right? Because uh, I, I don't know, how, I'm going to try to not make this vlog episode also too political, but it, it, it inevitably it inevitably does come back to that, right? We live in an age where if even the slightest of opinions aren't what you want, instantaneously just, just roast the person out of existence and share comments saying, don't respect this person anymore, right? So nuts, even at the slightest, I mean, cause I'm a pretty opinionated person, as you know, I can make a lot more harsher comments about tons of topic, topics. This was just a light, you know, I happen to think this comment isn't the greatest critique of the industry. That's all I said. And then boom, how dare you? An opinion I don't agree with, you are done, Henry. Done to some people. Like, I think it's funny because you were like, come at me. Whatever the the, the, the heavy things you want to say about me, go on. I, I got this guy to take it. You're a corporate shill. Dude, you take that fucking back. <laughs> I am not a corporate shill. Well, no, you, your what? mom's a corporate shill. All right, pal? You know, like, it's totally. so that, no, 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 no. Totally. Uh, I, I want to make it clear. Yeah. I got thick skin. I can take anything. And I can take the corporate shill comments too. I, I, I can take whatever comment you have at me. But Are it, you making this bug because someone called you a corporate shill? I'm. I, <laughs> I just found it interesting. I found yeah. it interesting how, uh, and everyone says the same thing. And sorry, I'm going to kick yeah. it over to you guys in a second. I'll let you keep going. But I just find it interesting how ev everyone is right when they say misinformation spreads like wildfire, right? Because it yeah. wasn't my, if you look at my original posts, I'll stick up for them to, to the day I did. 
to the day I die. I, I don't think anything was wrong in those or any of my comments explaining myself afterwards, right? So like, it's not like I'm walking anything back. I'm walking nothing back, 0%, right? So I, I know I'm going to get comments saying, how dare Henry not walk it back now, right? Well, but I'm saying- you didn't walk it back. <laughs> if you look at my original comments, I walk nothing back. I worded it the way I wanted to word it. I just find it interesting that one or two people with a lot of followers post, this guy's a corporate hack. People don't look at the original and they just- uh, right. They, look more, they look more hack. at the replies in the comments as opposed yeah. to what the actual article is exactly. and then go from there exactly. to make their article. All right, so I kick it over to you guys. Go ahead. Tell me tell me where I'm right, where I'm wrong. Go first. I'm looking for the- uh... Well, uh, the question is uh, the anime that was making these um, uh, uh, criticisms about the industry, is this uh, like a foreigner working in Japan? Or no, like just, no, it was a Japanese okay. animator working at, uh, and I will say the the original article was talking about Mappa, the studio that made uh, okay. Tyson and and the recent Attack on Titan series, and, and I've never well, worked with them, so I actually don't know their business practices at all. Though I imagine it's very similar, just generally to. Yeah, I mean, like you know, if I was going to the lawyer mode, like I could, we're only going by one side of the story, his testimonial and stuff like that. Maybe he's a very difficult person to work with. Who knows? Or maybe he's right on the money. But I remember you telling me, like, you know, obviously we're foreigners working in this country in the entertainment industry, you know, and 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 I will say this about the art, man. They they're bending over backwards to pay us what they pay us, and because what we get paid versus what actually Japanese people get paid in the an, in anime industry is, yeah, it's it's night and day. It's like it's like you think you're a foreigner coming over here getting paid less than what you thought you were gonna get paid. Imagine being a Japanese person working in the anime industry; those those cats get nothing, you know. And so I can totally understand, and, and I'm curious. It's more or less to me. It's curious because I think. You know, in the Japanese system, it's like deru, derukugi, like you do not want to be the derukugi. You don't want to be the person that stands out in society, you know, and stuff like that and makes a, makes a fuss. And now I think with the Westerner influence, I think with content. Things are changing. Yeah, that now Japanese people are like, well, look, the Westerners always are making marches up and down the street. Screw it. I'm going to do it too now. And maybe you might start seeing an influx of Japanese people like standing up and, and not just the anime industry. It could be other industries saying, so hey, this is not good. Like we get paid like nothing we worked all these crazy hours you know we're yeah we're, you're getting burned at the stake just letting you know Heads yeah up. yeah and uh, yeah, i was looking at your tweet and it's like it's kind of long it's like uh, oh, i'll read this later but so far <laughs> wow <laughs> right that's but, what yeah, i'm but, saying it, like if it was the, 20 people that were like henry i'm angry at you rah, and then whatever yeah but, but, but that 20 is, people ends up becoming like 200 that's what it is well that it, it, a, a couple of that situation people, a couple of the people that shared their opinion of me being a corporate hack happened to have like 30,000 followers. And so the corporate hack comment went out to more people than the original thing. And no one even looked at the original thing. They just see that, right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm just guessing, I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing uh, you haven't heard the last of it. There may be some more comments coming later because I looked at it as like, oh, it's from 15 hours ago. Okay. And I scroll down. It's from two hours ago. I was like, well, two hours ago. Yeah. I'm just going to sit the phone down. Um, but we're looking at it, it's like even just entertainment industry as a whole, just like any other industry and in, in, in company business when it comes to consumers and, and products or whatever, you're looking at people's pay scales being so vastly different within the same industry that it gets broken down to, okay, this corporation treats their employees better than this corporation, so I actually want to work here, is what people you know, tend to look for when they're job hunting. It's like, what are the benefits of working for this company? What are the benefits of working for this company? Of course, it's not always what we set out to be. You know, we go into a company or go into a project, be it movie or a TV show, thinking, oh, well, contractually, these things are listed and this is what I should be looking forward to. You get up and it may actually be a even better experience than you expected it to be or a completely horrible experience or a mix of both. It does all those there are different dynamics that come into it and different elements that come into it that make the whole work experience different each time, which is always wonderful because part of life is the beauty and the layers of different interactions. The downside to it is having an opinion and voicing an opinion have now become a gap. You know, it's not that you shouldn't have an opinion. You should. We all should. Um, it doesn't mean you have to be disrespectful about what your opinion is or you know your views and things of that nature. I'm not saying that you are or you aren't. This is general speaking. Mm -hmm. But I think as people, as a society, we have to be able to 
listen to the other side. We may not want to hear it, but we should listen to the other opinion and then be, look at it as, okay, I agree with things aren't good, but I don't agree with your view. You're, you may not be a bad person, but I don't agree with this. So I'm going to move on from here. Thanks for the information. And you just move on. Um, when it comes to social media and things like that, it's, it's even harder because things that are written in text, and this has nothing to do with your tweets or mm. in, in, in this specific topic, like in general, when you're dealing with texted information, it doesn't always read the same way. It doesn't always read as 100%. the emotion that comes across. 100%. And that makes it really difficult to get your point across at times, not always. Sometimes yeah. it's so blunt and so straightforward, it's like you can't misunderstand that. Yeah. And sometimes you can be, it can be misconstrued. I think in your case, the example that you're giving us of like reposting something, making a comment of it, and the comment section becomes more potent than the post itself, that does tend to happen. The downside is, yeah, people stop. You have two types. You have one person that will look at the actual article and then go into the comment section. Then you have the other person. It's like they look at the comments first and then just follow from there. And then maybe they'll go back to the the um, the actual article. You know, I found myself when comments are posted there and there's like anything over, I'd say 50, I'll click the comments and just kind of scroll through. And it's like, well, what is it? that's happening, what did I, what's going on? Mm. And then I'm going to read the article and sometimes and vice versa. I think industry standards are so varied that it makes it difficult to, you know, say that this company is 100% good or this company is 100% bad because at the end of the day, even the company, it's people. We make up that company. No matter what our job is, we make up that company. So our interactions and how we deal with people you know, plays a big part into it. And no, animators don't get paid well. Um, mm. I, I don't think, well, you get paid well if you are, if you've already made a name for yourself. I'll say that. For everyone else that's in the grind trying to make a name for themselves or build, help build this studio, yeah, you could be paid better. Hours could be paid, could be better. You know, work experiences can be better, but at the same time, they could be a lot worse. Because a lot of Japanese studios, as you mentioned, a lot of Japanese studios still have that old school way of working where, you know, you're there at 6 a.m. and you leave at 10, 10 p.m. or 12 p.m. And then you got to be back there at mm -hmm. 6 or back there at 8. And it's like you don't get that disconnect mm -hmm. to reboot, refresh, sleep and come back at 100 percent capacity. So then you're constantly behind the schedule because you don't have enough mental energy to keep up and do what you're supposed to but that there's, happens with movies and and and, and television also there's so many Sorry, layers to, there, there's so many layers to this because um uh like the the the, the one topic that you know uh, i was planning on talking about here was like just the the nature of like the, the twitter thing but if you yeah if we go into the actual con tent of you know th this thing again right like let's go back to the critique of the industry um it's really complicated and, and and people outside the industry and you hear this all the time with movies and movie stars and producers and stuff uh, saying that people on the outside don't know also right it's the same thing it's the yeah. entertainment industry in general i guess or, or any industry to be honest. Like to talk about. Yeah. Any, any industry you don't know the information the really detailed information about what's happening when you're on the outside so it's really easy for people on twitter or or or, you know, even people that are in the know about the industry, it's hard for them to really know what it's what's actually happening on the inside and the and the systematic problems and what isn't a problem but looks like a problem from the outside, right? Like it's hard to know the truth of, of, of what's really happening. And so, you know, one thing that I do with my social media things is like I, I feel like I I can give some of that information. Uh, you know, e even I have things I can't say because you know you, there's confidentiality and yeah. NDAs and things. Contracts and just you know, common sense. It's but time and the, place. yeah, but to the extent I can, I I'd like to believe I I give out some information that might not otherwise be out there, right? And and so it can be beneficial to people. It's stuff that they want to hear. But but the thing is, sometimes that information isn't stuff people like. You know what I mean? So my oh. main my main point, and I posted this to. I didn't just say, uh, "Oh, this animator is wrong." I posted what I support is any critique that 
says that the anime studios aren't funded properly by the production committees. And that is the main problem of the industry. Now, people need to focus on that more because what I'm saying is uh, even the industries, it, 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 people think that anime studios, people on the outside hear business or corporation <coughs> and they instantaneously think mega corporation. They instantaneously think Walmart. Every company is Walmart who has $1 trillion and can pay anything they want in the world to all their employees. Uh, and they're just choosing not to because they're evil. Right. Now, I, as you will know, Stephen, I am completely and utterly anti-big business like that and rant about it to, to my own detriment, right? Almost like I'm almost too opinionated about that. But every single company in the world is not Walmart. So these anime companies, they do not have trillions of dollars. Their funding from their clients, the production committees, is very important. If they don't get perfect funding, they're screwed because they're not rich. They don't have Walmart money to actually pay, but they're choosing not to. If they don't have amazing funding for a project, they're screwed and they're going to have to somehow make an amazing looking anime with not enough money to make an amazing looking anime. And that's what happens again and again and again and again. So yes, I am defending the companies a little bit, but but there's some people out there that will immediately hear Henry just defended Walmart. I didn't defend Walmart. I defended the small anime oh, studios. Like that, <laughs> they don't have the funding to do this stuff unless they are, are given that funding, funding by their clients, the production committees. And they're not getting that. The production committees just won't give them the right amount of money to fund things generally. And even when more <laughs> money is asked for them, the production committees go, well, then we'll go to a cheaper studio, which is partially why you do see season yeah. twos happening in other places, right? How because because the first studio is like, either. The first studio is like, hey, my animators are getting paid better next time. And then the production committee goes, no, they're not. It will go somewhere else. We're not giving you an extra dime. And what I'm saying is everyone focus on that. You know what's happening here, everyone? They're getting us to argue amongst each other and the, and the actual big the focus off of them. are laughing all the way to the bank because those production committees are looking and knowing that they're the ones with the problem not funding the projects properly. And they're going, look, the people on the internet are complaining about the companies. The people defending the companies in the industry are getting bashed by the people on the internet. The companies are, did it, did it, right? And, and look at them fighting while no one's talking about production committees, right? And so uh, you're right. I am defending the, the small anime studios out here uh, to an extent. If there's ever a studio that has bad practices against animators, unacceptable. If there's ever a studio, uh, and this happened to me, where someone's sick and they're like, you still can't go home. I'm not letting you go home because you've got to finish your sequences. That happened to me in my first studio. And I was like, dude, you're crazy. And, and, and I did get hospitalized. I had to go to the hospital multiple times at that first studio, which is why I left. Uh, and because yeah, that's so what it is thing, forced cause... me while I'm sick to keep working. So if I ever hear a story about that, unacceptable. Dude, these are human beings. You have to treat them like human beings. At the same time, though, if the studio has no proper funding to make the thing, I do feel for them to a certain extent. That's a hard situation to be in. You don't want to just up and quit. On the internet, all the comments are so simple. Well, if they're not properly funded, then they need to shut down. Dude, you say it so nonchalantly. Oh, just shut down. That means hundreds of people are out of work. All of your yeah. life's uh, uh, investment is gone and you also have no job. Like it is a terrible thing for a company of hundreds of people to just suddenly shut down and everyone left deserted. So, well, they just need to shut down if they just don't have enough money. End of story. It's that simple. It's not that simple, guys. Jeez, you know? Uh, it's it's, it's well, unfortunate and your shirt almost uh, like paints the picture perfectly. It's a cycle. <coughs> it's a cycle. So in the cycle is if you don't have the funding or you don't have proper funding for projects, the projects have to cut corners to get it done because they need the work to keep the lights on and to, so people are employed. But in order for the people to be employed and keep the lights on, they need that money. So it's, it's a vicious cycle that's going round and round. If there were, say, a third party that were uh, backing it and saying, well, hey, here's an extra overhead to make sure that it's done properly. So then people can take proper time off, get proper rest in between, um, hire extra staff to get the things done, that would be better, obviously. And like I mentioned earlier, just because you go to a cheaper studio because you're trying to cut costs doesn't make the production better because that's why you have projects where it's like, okay, well, fine. Like you mentioned, we'll just go to another studio because you know it'll be cheaper over here. 
And then you find, well, it's not approved for a follow-up season like we originally planned because the way that the audience received it wasn't as positive as it was before because the style had changed so drastically. Mm -hmm. People were like, I don't like this. It's, what is this? What that am I almost, watching? That almost always happens. Almost every time yeah. the studio <laughs> changes, fans say, I'm disappointed about this studio change. Yeah. And, and like, then there's um, like no season three or something. The, the, the death stroke, <laughs> not to you know bash or put any specific project out there, but the Deathstroke animation that came out, was it late last year, earlier this year? You know, animation wise, yikes. And that's not bashing any of the animators that worked on the project, but the style was so vastly different that people were like, yeah, I have no interest in following up on this story if it's continued. And then they decide not to, you know, which is sad because that's people that aren't working on that particular project. But then again, there's other projects to work on um, since, you know, it's not going to continue. It, it sucks. Yeah. Steven, comment. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I think uh, it's, it's strange. He's quiet. He's quiet. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. when it comes to the whole Twitter stuff, I mean, it's, you know, it's social Twitter. Media. It's it's, it's <laughs> social media in general. Yeah, you I mean, know? you should have posted on Instagram. That's where all the fire happens. So so my point <laughs> is that, like, I could I could go on Twitter if I have, like, the followers that you have or something like that. I'm not a very social media person, but if I had like the followers you had and I, I posted, well, you know, if you put sugar and milk in coffee, you really don't like coffee, do you? Just like dessert. Ooh, uh, yeah, I would get, do I'd be, <laughs> there'd be Steve, there. Steve. exactly. Right. Yeah. So there, you, you then, know you're I'd, a corporate I'd, shill for the, for the, yeah, uh, I, for the cafe au lait lobby. They, yeah, I'm not even going to joke about that comment because I am not trying to get burned at the stake. But that's my point. My, all you. <laughs> my, my point is I would get the same vitriol that you're getting now to, for, for a, a coffee comment. I mean, it's it's pretty much established that we live in the age of hysteria where there is no nuance anymore. It's either, you know, I agree with you 100 percent or more times than not, you, you not should be canceled. All. You should be canceled. What you say to me offends the very nature of, of what I am. And therefore, you, you need to be deplatformed dead named whatever the the dismissive uh, uh label is now in, in terms of the industry i like i i was you know like i'm i'm barely even a student of psychology but it's helped me greatly in my life to to learn up on why people do the things they do i i, I listen less and less to what you've got new comments to what to what words come out of people's mouths and i just look at what people do and looking at what people do tells me the truth of who they are and the, my point is that you know if you're a person that loves entertainment animation acting musicals <laughs> whatever it may be that's great enjoy it for what it is but also learn learn about it like learn about what it takes to to be that thing whatever it is if you want to be a director or you want to be the, the the work on the great white way you know in broadway it's like that realize like the immense sacrifice and competition and instability and 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 manage your expectations and and your entitlements and i think when i when you mentioned that artist saying like oh working here's like working in a factory and and like these long hours and i'm sick it's like that it's like did you do any research into the industry before you decided to invest your life into it? Steven, you know? we finally got you like, talking. That, that, I, I yeah. don't want to cut you off, but actually it, it's a per I'll let you I'll let you take it from yeah. uh, from here in a second. But it, it links up entirely with where some of the comments kind of went into um, some yeah. people because uh, uh, after I posted an explanation, which I also thought was quite elegant, <laughs> uh, some people yeah. pointed to like a part of that. And, and, and it's like, wait a minute, you're saying uh, that just the industry is harsh and people need to accept that. Like, like, no, they don't. Everything should change instantaneously. Like people don't need to actually work until mornings ever. Da, da, da. And I was like, look, it, it is a reality of the industry. You're going to be working many, many hours for yeah. not overtime right because a lot of even what you do is adding little things to your sequences that aren't even being asked of you and so you're not going to get paid for them i i add as as you know steven and seeing me work i add like an extra shadow layer to things whenever i can i get paid zero cents for that uh but it does take 
a few all-nighters for me to do that. So why do I do it? Just because I want to. The artist in me wants right. to, yeah. right? And so, you uh, quite work. so my yeah. post was, this is a harsh industry that isn't really like a normal job where you are definitely leaving uh, or coming in and leaving nine to five. Like you're gonna, like this is an industry filled with people who are just going to stay outrageous hours. And that's not a bad thing. And then people, yes, it is a bad thing. People need work-life balance. People need this. People need that. Um, Which, uh, yeah. you, and that's you know, true. It shouldn't but... be hard. It shouldn't there shouldn't be stress uh it needs to be better your antiquated grotesque way of thinking that it needs to be a stressful job is unbelievable henry you disappoint me and and here here i will say i just disagree with you guys art is a hard thing and yes it takes a lot of stress and the only people that should be in the industry are the ones that are willing to sacrifice for it and mm -hmm. and 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 they will hate that and i will get hate comments for that because a few people said how dare you say anyone needs to sacrifice for anything no one needs to sacrifice anything how gross is that antiquated thinking guys this is an industry that is your passion it is my passion and it is the passion of all the other people here and if it isn't well they just wanted to work from to five what's wrong with that henry there's a lot wrong with that you're not in the right industry this is an industry that needs to be filled with passionate people you understand and so uh yes sacrifice is a part of that but there are people now saying uh zero sacrifice should happen to accomplish your dreams and to suggest it should makes you a bad guy and i think that's honestly just crazy so they'll hate me for saying that but what are your thoughts on yeah. that well, that's, that's the, that's the, entire. like when someone says something like that, it's, you know, you can see their entitlement, right? You know, and I, I, you can, I, my guess is, and I don't know for facts, I don't have the facts. My guess is they, they're also the person that's in line saying like, I've been waiting here for five minutes and da, 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 you know, like their the animation and, and the work industries is not the only thing they complain about in life. You know, I think you have to really sort of like, there's my truth and there's my reality and then there's reality. And you and yes, the, the industry of, of art and animation in general is a very intensive, time consuming. Time -consuming. It, it, you, there's a lot of sacrifice and just take animation out of it. Like think of any other job. Think of it like, what if you wanna be a doctor? Imagine the crazy hours and the crazy stuff they see, you know, and the amount of debt they get from college. I mean, there's a there's plenty of industries and plenty of careers where you it, it requires a lot of sacrifice. It is your identity, is it, your life, you know. And I will meet them to a certain extent and say, yeah, I, I someone as talented as you or me or Dante. Well, Dante gets paid. What are we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, he's the most successful among us. Work for a living. Yeah. Of oh, of us, he gets paid. He gets he gets the money. What I work for a living, you know. He's just, got a human sized Mickey what, Mouse plushie. Right whether over whether here I whether I get paid or not, as you put it, yeah. is still not what I'm worth. Yeah. And in order to do that, I need to get better at my craft yeah. and do more work and learn new skills and learn new ways to get different points across and different emotions through acting or through design or whatever means I need to basically learn new things. I'm busting his chops. Yeah. Internet, and, and, and internet not, chat. I'm not, I'm not going to take that. One. I'm, I'm busting his chops. Well, as, but, as you guys put it, I sacrificed to yeah, get where I am. Of course. And I'm still working hard because I'm All not right. where Look, I need to. All right. Does it, does it, does it help no, that? That's Sam's a good point. No, Stephen. No, that, 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 that no, is no but, but you know what? <laughs> the fact, <laughs> the fact that you were that you were like, hey, you know, given I'm just joking around, whatever. I'm sorry. That's something that I think needs to happen with people in those comment sections. Yeah. If they don't agree, even if they're taking the piss out of each other, but you get this, hey, you know, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, you know, we, we're, we're at the end of the day, we're all putting our heart and souls into what we feel passionate about, given, yes, we could have better work conditions. We could have better pay. We could be working with um, other industry professionals if communications and things were better. It's not there yet, but we can get there by slowly changing these things, obviously. And the, the term sacrifice doesn't always have to be negative. I think that's something that gets pulled, pulled around because it's like, you know, sacrificing going outside and playing in the park as opposed to, you know what, actually, I'm going to take that two hours, sit in my room and go over my sides so I can get my audition down or so I can... Yeah make sure that when it's time for me to go to work, that I'm doing that, that's part of the job. So you're sacrificing the idea or the concept of uh, being carefree as opposed to, okay, mm. let me focus on this. That way, when it's done, I can enjoy that time outside in the park or whatever. 
you know, those things come into play also. I want to make a quick comment while it's so fresh in my brain. Yeah. There was something you said that really maybe like that's a good point is that you have people like executives or whatever that enjoy, not I don't know if they enjoy, but they definitely are like, good, the, the, the heat's not on me. They're arguing amongst themselves uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, it's again, this is uh, for people that uh, complain or feel abused or something like that. It's so important to really be honest with yourself and say, is this what I want in my life? Like, mm -hmm. why are you working animation? Because you like the Shonen Jump stuff like that? You can still enjoy it and not work in the industry. Like, I, one of my favorite games of all time is Doom. I love Doom. I don't think I would want to work on that production, not because I think it's hellish, but I think if I worked on it, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't enjoy it. Enjoy it right, so I'm being honest <laughs> with myself, right? I, I and, and stuff like that. And I think a lot of people that like write these articles you know, and that's not just in anime, it's in video games like that. There's a couple of channels I watch where you watch like the breakdown of these productions. Like there was a really good oh. one on LA Noir. And like, you think working in the anime industry is bad. Apparently working at that one studio that made LA Noir was, was actually like, horrible. Oh yeah. Like, a, a hellish story. Like, yeah. I actually learned some stuff because even from industry professionals here that I work with in the gaming industry and that's another looking one, at crunch. how they're yeah. going about, you know, doing what the first two minutes of a game ends up being like a six month to a year process. And then it's like, well, I don't like this door being here. That needs to be fixed. That's an extra six months of fixing that because then everything else has to yeah. change. It's really, really difficult. You know, any art that takes that type of um, commitment is difficult. It really, really is. And the idea of, you know, being honest with yourself, okay, is this what you really want? It's not always going to be what you set out to get. It may be yeah. more, it may be less, but if it's less, okay, do you stick with it or do you change? And sometimes it's not as easy as saying, okay, fine, I will just switch to a different company in the same, um, in the same category, the same genre. It's not always easy like that. Yeah. So, you know, just saying stop, that may work for you, but it doesn't work for everybody. Yeah. And that's, and I think that's what makes it very complicated. I just want to get that. Yes, and I want to get this point out really importantly that there are people in this world that like was that movie there there will be blood where, where where the guy's like I drink your milkshake and stuff like that. I didn't really get that line until like recently. It's like mm -hmm. I drink your milkshake. There's people in this world that will take advantage of you. They will suck you dry energy wise, mm -hmm. and it's not just in your personal life. It'll also be in your employment as well in an industry. So maybe the stuff that that animator's saying is true. He's working in a studio that could be just drinking just, his milkshake, just just just, just working him dry, yeah. just working him until he gets hospitalized, like you got. And then once he can't work anymore, they're like, okay, you're done next person right that and there yeah. are studios like that and there are people it's, it's, it's cheaper to are, hire someone else than to yes there are continue. there are people like that and so to the people right now that are, that are giving you guff on twitter and stuff like that really think and say hey look yeah you know if you find yourself in a abusive environment you know quitting is not a bad thing you know finding another job or, or putting yourself in a situation where you can be happier and you're surrounded by people that actually generally care about you, generally want to work with you, generally want to create something great with you and still have a balanced uh, uh, relationship with you is, is paramount. And so, so, but then sitting there and saying this, this thing needs to change or that person needs to change. You need to accept the fact that you cannot change them. Whoever's running that studio Mopo or whatever like that, if what this guy's saying is true, well, needs to understand that's that how it is that's how it until is. Until they change the personnel. Um, so. Yeah. You know, uh, is I thought of and job market. I mean, people don't people don't have the option of just switching jobs as easily as we used to. Partially, yes, because of COVID and other companies shutting down things of nature. So job hunting and job hopping isn't as easy as it used to be. Quitting is one of those things. It's like it's easy to quit, but it's like well, then how do I pay the bills? So you have people that also feel trapped in that situation as well. Um, Sorry. Maybe it's not obvious, but like uh, it's. I think it's obvious to you guys, but maybe it's not obvious to everyone. Like, of course, I I I agree with the animator. Like, e e even if it oh. sounds like, because what I was saying was like this comment is not equal to other comments I felt that talk about like really heinous uh, instances. This is him talking about his job was very uncomfortable for him, so he didn't like it, right? Yeah. And, and I don't think that's the beauty to... is he has a job too. Right, right. Um, but he has, he has employment. But of course I do 
probably agree entirely with this animator. I, I mean, I might meet this animator in this industry. And when we sit down at the table, I'll totally agree with them. I'll be like, oh, you're totally right about that critique of the industry. Totally right about that. I probably agree with this person on everything. And we'd probably get along perfectly, right? Like, it, and totally see eye to eye. I was just talking about the comments. I, I, I thought, uh, I thought I could, you know, it, people, I don't know how much I'll get roasted for saying this, but, uh, you know, uh, Tupac, said that he got mugged once he got mugged once see you see your your good job i'm not uh, I'm looking at i'm looking at well this is a twisted road you're about to go now <laughs> no, no, no. tupac uh, got mugged once and he said like he was shocked that uh like he, he thought he would never like get betrayed or hurt by black people right so he thought he could go anywhere and that would be fine and when he went into the big corporate executive places that's where he had danger potentially right but so yeah. so he was surprised about that and i'm not equating myself to tupac i'm saying that that quote came to me because i felt the same in the sense that i thought it was clear that i'm a defender of animators so like animators and people who are pro sticking up for the animation industry would never come at me right and so I could comment. So you almost feel per, uh, somewhat personally betrayed by people within your industry who do the same type of job that don't agree with how you're putting your comment kind of thing. Exactly. Well, I, I, yeah, exactly. And I guess I, I, I could feel like people on the, on the outside that weren't, that weren't familiar with me or, you know, who I am or what I do, uh, maybe they could misconstrue you know, things I say, right? Because they don't know. But certainly the right. people in the know about me, like, wouldn't misconstrue things, right? Certainly that is the case, right? Um, but then look at this, the most vanilla comment ever about, I don't know if this comment is equal to other comments. Boom, firestorm. <laughs> so it's just well, here, a learning well, experience I mean, for me, I guess. And, and, yeah. and, don't, and don't assume, but this is a sad thing. Don't assume that actually uh anime fans uh who who appreciate the creators uh, yeah. are on my side you know i i, I well, thought i had a, a little aside i think I let's, I hold a second. after he says i have some so, so this is something that's important for all of us to understand like again like i'm a i'm a nobody you know like i get to work on you are somebody, bro. okay okay if you're somebody uh, even yourself, but my point, believe in you. but I, for people that are no notoriety figures like yourself and dante's like that when people like see you or they read about you like that, they, they're the mind. It's the mind has a thing where it takes a snapshot of that person, and then they start having conversations with that snapshot. So when so when they actually meet a Henry Thurl or they meet Dante Carver, it's that that's the real person. But they've been having conversations with the snapshot version of that person for a long time. So then when when you differ from that idealization of who you are, then it, it's a betrayal. And whatever ne negative internal landscapes are yelling in their ear all the day, they they fight back. And that's why you get this instant cancellation. So a lot of these people that are probably giving you crap right now are people that have idealized who you are as a person, one of us, you know, the guy that gets it and stuff like that. And then when you say something that goes against their narrative, mm -hmm. the belief system, they're yeah. like, whoa, this ain't, you're, you You betrayed me, you lied to me, right? So it's even less about this whole anime industry. It's, it's more of a betrayal of their idealization of you. And now you're getting devalued like a motherfucker right now, you know, and, 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 and they will, they will come back eventually to troll you or the Hoover you, depending on, but they're both unhealthy um, <laughs> situations. So like, so like I said, it's, I, I wouldn't take or I guess I guess you know if you have better things to do today, Henry, do it. <laughs> well, I got trying a million to better things them. to do today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dante, what were you're you? not going to change them. Well, basically, just looking at it as anytime you have an article like that, and it's thought provoking, something, and even if it's not thought provoking, usually what I do, especially I was like, hmm, I read it as this, but maybe my friend sees it differently, or I wonder what. The person next to me thinks almost nine times out of ten when i repost something like that or post it the first thing i put in, in my subtext is thoughts what do you guys think and i do that on purpose i do that on purpose one because someone may have a point of view that i hadn't thought of obviously mm. or um it's one of those where it's like i'd like to see the commentary between and the interaction between people because we all come from different backgrounds so we have 
we have the same basic values of common decency and treating the person next to you, you know, as you would yourself, if not better. But at the same time, our views, be it political, religious, whatever, are always going to be, you know, in different directions. The base is the same, but these little nuances are different. So, okay, what does this person think of this situation? What's that person think of this situation? And I think it also gives me a chance to try and understand, if not maybe learn something I didn't know about from the opposite perspective, because I think that's a, a, a good sign of growth, but also opening up the floor to people to understand each other. And then at the end of that, I might post what I think. And it's like, well, this is what I was thinking, da, da, da. And then it, it tends to decrease the level of toxicity in most comment sections. <laughs> not always, I, but most times. And, and it's one of those where it's like, it's not that you're playing a PC game, but it's also one of those like, I don't want to be in the middle of this conversation. I just like, I saw this, I thought it was interesting. I'm going to share it. You guys, you know, talk about it. I have my own thoughts and views on it, whatever. But I don't think I need to be the center of that because the actual conversation isn't me. It's that situation. And right now, unfortunately, you are now the centerpiece of that that situation for, for the people where you weren't the focus. Thread, yeah, at least. Um, yeah, uh, you're totally right, of course. Um, I guess you're just the unfortunate thing, although it's just reality I have to accept, is that like, uh, I, I thought, I don't like the I, I don't like the idea personally of like I'm not going to get involved. What's everyone else thinking? Because I thought that the oh no, I'm not saying not getting involved. It's one of those where it's like I'm giving I'm giving the floor a chance to voice themselves before I voice myself because one I don't ever like feeling like I'm talking over uh, voices that aren't heard, and because I like knowing what other people think about situations because yeah, we're in Japan. So people's lifestyles and things are different back home where I miss being. So it's like, it's nice just hearing those voices. It's like, ah, oh, you know what? Because I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with that situation here in Japan. We don't have that dynamic. But knowing that dynamic is interesting. Now I see it from a different point of view. That's it. Because when you're in your, your world, your circle, sometimes you don't see outside of it. Because you you're not dealing with those situations. I, yeah, no, I, I hear you. Uh, I I thought it was all about voicing <laughs> opinions. You know what I mean? Like, like, like. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, of course. Like, like you can voice you, you can voice whatever you want on Twitter. I just yeah. think that, like, or Facebook or Reddit or whatever. I just think you know, if you're trying to accomplish something there or trying to convince you know minds, is, hard, is, I, I like the idea. And you can't please everybody. I like the idea of, of everyone keeping it 100, right? Like uh, just being honest about themselves. I think that's more productive, uh, to be honest, even if even if people have really negative opinions, like really terrible negative opinions, political, whatever. I almost think it's better. It's like, just say what you're thinking so everyone knows who you are. I, 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 and then, and then uh, you know, you you, you you hear different things and-, and, and It's it, ironic though, what you just said there, because we live in an age where like we don't want you to be a hundred, and if you are a hundred, we don't want we don't want to hear it anymore. We want to cancel and deplatform you and exactly. Well, you. that's what I'm saying. So 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 the the end result of of doing it the Dante way is is of course a better way, which is like I'm not going to immediately a perfect world yeah. by a hundred percent. Not uh, just that, like, but because I don't want to. I personally looking at the way things work, yeah. and I'll give a a perfect example when our previous president was there in office mm -hmm. you had people on so many different spectrums of thought that any conversation whether you thought it was positive negative didn't matter somebody was offended even though you were just saying something yeah. it doesn't matter what your political view was and that's fine um what your political view is is your view you know and i respect that but at the same time if i can't have a basic conversation with you then we're failing as a society, we should be able to talk to each other. We don't always have to agree, but, but exactly. we should be able to talk to each other. I, I totally agree. But what I'm saying is, and, 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 and I'm just screaming into a wall here because it's not like my little opinion is going to change Twitter, but like uh, the, d doing it the way where it's like testing the water. Hey, what's everyone think about this? It is vetting, right? So it's if everyone's like, 
saying, oh, in the comments, like totally differing opinions than you. That's a way for you to vet, oh, okay, well, I'm not going to say that thing that oh, I was thinking. No, 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 no. Nothing like that because I don't go through all those comments. I post it, let people talk to each other, and it's my way of letting people speak. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, this is what I got out of it. And then after I've posted my my comment or whatever, if I find that the article was, you know, uh, deep enough or a thought provoking enough, then I'll go and actually interact in the comment section. Otherwise, it's just I post it. Hey, thoughts. People put things. I wait whether it's a couple hours or a day, and then I'll post what I thought of it without reading it because I also don't want to read comments first because then what that does is that subconsciously you know makes this for me i don't want to, i don't want to do that um i just like that people get to interact with each other share that stuff with each other and then i make a comment because i don't want to be the center of the conversation because i'm not the center of conversation i'm posting it because that topic for me is the center point not me yeah. and that's another reason why I, I as much as i enjoy twitter i don't use it that often mm -hmm. uh you know it's sad that i use instagram more but even then my interaction with people, if it's not direct, it's limited just because I don't want to come off as being toxic and I don't like toxic behavior. So I will disengage almost immediately. You know, I've I've been I've had, you know, people hack systems and and leave really rude and nasty comments for someone else. You know, if that's how you feel, then do that in a DM you know i just it's just it's just it's it's a bit heavy i just find it like impressive that people have the time to do that. like i it's going back to the anime it works crazy hours like the, pro the project you and i are working on now like i've been going to bed at four three and four every That's night for the event, you're gonna give you're gonna give they are a bad rap people are gonna say how dare they are make you do that but we don't make but you I, do that, right we don't make no i do it because i love what i do i'm passionate about what i do i stay up all night making sure that when i when i have stuff to hand to you or Arthel or yeah it looks great right and anything that i work on for you guys i make sure that i'm in bed by 12 and just because otherwise i can't function and just to, <laughs> and just to, and just to say this arthel our lord and savior arthel who couldn't be here today he he's the one who's always telling me man like go to bed yeah, go and, to sleep and he will be go sitting there like home. this and i yeah. tell I, I tell the animators that too the the animation director in particular there was a, a few times on a few projects where like um uh, I was there on a Saturday or something and then she came in in the morning and I was like what are you doing here and then she's like oh I want to you know uh, get around to fixing up some stuff and you know if it's like if, if everything's due Monday then I say okay let's work together but like if um if if it, if it isn't that and I'm like dude the deadline's not for a month and a half I tell her, go home. I don't want you working this weekend. weekend. Take this the weekend, time off. You yeah. to take off. And she's like, no, no, it's okay. And I'm like, it's not okay. Like I, so I really do a hundred percent support. Like, honestly, have your work-life balance as best you can. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, just make life the best you can and don't, and don't crush yourself. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's just, just why it's funny. That you want to, you want to <laughs> get it done or you want to make sure that the, the, the downside to being in things like uh, art and entertainment is like sometimes you indirectly find yourself being a perfectionist about your job. So it's like you do something, it's like, actually, I could clean those lines up a little bit better or I could, you know, make this look crisper for the person I have to hand it off to. So that ends up being that cycle. It's like, well, it's 10 o'clock. I don't have to be at work until 10 in the morning. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do another hour or so of work. And then you find out it's like two, three o'clock in the morning. It yeah, just happens that way. Totally. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, just, I think we've said it all at, at, with this topic. So. I'm sure there's a couple, uh, but yeah, just to, to reiterate for the people out there, whether you're working in the industry or you're angry about the working conditions of it, I think, you know, in a weird way, you're not wrong, but also understand that this is the industry. Like if I decide to be a law enforcement officer, you know, or a firefighter or uh, sign up for the military, I'm putting myself in a position where I could be seriously injured or killed, but that's the job I signed on for. And and also for people that, that love entertainment and, and, and whether it's anime or film or whatever, recognize that what you're about to embark on is a, is a journey of sacrifice, it's, long it's, hours, it's no guarantees, no stability, 
and it's not just in Japan, it's everywhere on this planet, you know, and you, and, and the people that become successful in the industry is yes, there's luck involved, but they're also very smart and they, they recognize that game at the very beginning. They recognize who they are, they accept who they are and they accept the environment that they're in. And they also accept the people that they work with. Some are extremely toxic and dangerous. Some are, will be like uh, collaborators for the rest of their life. But I think understanding that knowing yourself will keep you from ending up writing articles about like how I was abused in a work environment, right. stuff like that. Know yourself and accept the situation that you're yeah. in. That and is perfect. Touching on what he said is, you know, the fact that he mentioned, you know, firefighters, police officers, and first responders in general, I am a strong believer in feeling like they don't get paid enough. Mm. I think that if they got paid better, um, there would be, and got trained or retrained regularly, there be less issues that we have without getting you know too deep into it and sure. as far as working with industry professionals it can be a blessing and a curse you know each situation is different they don't always have to be bad but you also learn something from each experience so if you learn that you know this particular job I work with this person or this company and it wasn't well you know okay for the future i don't want to repeat that but I do enjoy working with that person. If something comes up later on down the line, we can work together. That's great because you may have made some really good friends, people who are basically your family in those experiences. Take that with you also. Every job is exactly how it sounds, a job. It's not going to be easy, but it can be better if you're willing to see it through. When you feel like you're not being treated well, voice those opinions of, um, professionally and try and get those things changed from within because it makes it better for everybody as a whole. <clears throat> this was perfect. I was gonna leave that as last comment, but one thing Stephen just said makes me wanna just make one last, last, last little thing. Stephen said, this happens everywhere around the world. It's actually not anime. And I thought this would just be the perfect well, people thing. People are people, yeah. Funny enough, the hardest I think I've ever worked in my life wasn't in Japan, as hard as Japan was. And uh, to, to the point of that first studio being, completely crazy like i said um the yeah. actual hardest moment i've ever worked in my life was like uh i was in new york and i took on one too many freelance jobs at the exact same time doing doing just flash animation and i was working on a music video and a series and then like i helped someone else with a side project or something and i pulled an all-nighter and then the next day i had work immediately came home and the plan was I still have to, even after an all nighter and then a day of working, I still have like three hours of work to do on this one thing, right? So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get to sleep finally, right? But the thing took all night and I kept seeing the time click away and I was like, oh my God, it's not ending. And I ended up finishing like 10 minutes before I had to catch the bus for the next day's work. So I stayed up three straight, full days and I was I was really worried I was gonna have a heart attack like that was crazy right uh, and that, so that Netflix thing you know it's nine o'clock at night yeah I'll just watch one episode three o'clock in the morning you're still watching <laughs> and, and so the point is the entertainment industry and our industry it doesn't matter where you are we, we're talking about anime in particular now the Japanese anime industry but truth be told this is entertainment industry everywhere it is a harsh field okay yeah, it is yeah. All right, everyone. And, uh, well, tell yeah, us right. what you think in the comments. It's a section. beautiful curse. Yeah, tell us what you think. And, and, hey, look, we ain't doing this uh, out of the charity of hearts. This man here, this beautiful man here, worked on something amazing. I'm watching on Netflix right now. Yeah, we, need your, uh, we are watching. It. Yeah, we're watching it. Uh, uh, Castlevania. Which episode did you uh, work on? You and oh, Yoko yeah, and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Our studio. Dara Stadio worked on Castlevania episode nine a little bit. We did. Uh, we did. Okay. 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 So we have uh, eight more episodes to get. Yeah. <laughs> Episode I love episode. it. It's, it's, a, it's a good one, man. Powerhouse really pulled together a good team for that episode. It, it is good. Something that I tell him at the beginning without spoiling the, the show itself, the first, what, six scenes, so to speak, the way that they open those scenes, oh, it's just beautiful oh, layouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful layouts. Like, oh, this is really, I, I like how this is done. I wish more of the stuff that I would watch would have that type of effect to it because given it's animated it has this layer of reality 
using nature this like that was really well done and it this is tells a different topic this is a different story. topic dante no, no but it tells a story so, so, yeah. so you keep that in mind yeah, for the next episode just, just want to wrap it up i just want to wrap yeah, it up next episode, watch so castlevania so season four or they are henry worked on it episode nine yes uh yeah everyone tell us and what you think in the comment section roast me if you must but uh you know i hope everyone listened to the whole thing and share this around you know uh all right so uh see you on the next Definitely. episode of the Aristagio's vlog uh, we end yes. this with yeah. uh, Daji Gadaiji. Daji Gadaiji. Bye, everyone. Peace.